Hello, this is the Saturday Wrap, the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 27th of November 2021, live from the Regal Pub in Gloucester, where there's still a little bit of snow happening, nothing sticking, but it's all very Storm Arwen. So, if you haven't seen this before, this is me prattling on about the week that has just gone. There's tech, there's beer, there's definitely beer. This is a pint of Brighton Bell by Great Western Brewing. And my look back. Anyway, so let's start with the word or phrase of the week. Well, there's a lot to choose for. Omicron is big. And then there's Arwen for the storm. But I've gone for Peppa Pig because nothing says a modern intelligent government than Peppa Pig. Irony alert. Definitely irony alert there. The app of the week. Uh, the app of the week is on Android and it's on iOS and it was on uh, Windows Mobile. It's the YouTube app. And it's what I will be using for uploading this and learning how to use the software that I'm using. And yesterday afternoon in the Pelican Inn, watching Pink Floyd. It is really good. I mean, it could do with a little bit more customization, especially on the uploading, but I love it and I use it all the time. And it's free and generally bug free as well but what can you do I've introduced a thing called the thing of the week <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep it and I don't know if I'll get any feedback on it but think me anything but this week is something that really helped me I remember back to April and I was getting warm and I wanted to test the pair the air pressure in the tyres and I've got a proper gauge and all that and they needed some pumping up and I've got a dual cylinder foot pump and it took ages and you take it off and the air would come out and the guy from the top of the road lent me his air pump, the electric type and I've been having a look at these for ages and here's the issue with Amazon reviews you can't really tell if they're going to be any good because some say they're brilliant others say they collapse after about 10 minutes anyway I bought and I think it was about 12 quid the, the ring RAC610 12 volt analog tire inflator from Amazon and it's great and um, the only thing is that you've got to screw the pipe onto the um, uh, the air intake on the tyre and that's a bit difficult especially if you've got cold fingers but it is really good uh, the inflation pipe is long the cable back to the cigarette lighter is long the gauge is fairly accurate actually and the button that you hold um, to start the pumping off locks down yeah, I pumped the tyres up on my car this week. The fronts were generally okay, but the backs mm, down about 2 psi both. Um, but boy, did it save me a lot of time. The only thing is, is if you pump your tyres up, you get covered in brake dust. Which I did. Anyway, so that was my thing of the week. So, looking back on the week, this time last week... Uh, I had a bit of a uh, let's spend the day in semi-lockdown just in case um, I mowed the lawn it was the last lawn mowing of the year and I think last week I was on about watershed well on Sunday definitely temperature right down the heating finally came on which is a bit of a worry because of the cost of everything but we are definitely in winter and today with Storm Arwen um, most of TFW rail has stopped this first seven crossing is closed roads all over the place are having issues <sighs> yeah it's definitely winter it's definitely cold and um, 
Could do with a bit of this um, climate change which warms things up because it is extremely nippy today. Mind you, on Sunday, Windows Update, the second of the two yearly updates, 21H2, on the laptop and on the desktop, and I think in the week Windows, or was it last week, announced only one update per year. Thank you. <coughs> To be honest, I'm not altogether sure what was in 21H2. Very, very little, to be perfectly honest. And they could have just slipstreamed it up with um, uh, Patch Tuesday service patch. Don't know. Anyway, not going to miss it anyway. And I'm still on Windows 10. Um, although one of the laptops, or both of the laptops, can do Windows 11, but not my desktop. Apparently. Hmm. Okay, I think I've already mentioned Peppa Pig. <laughs> um, all you see all over Twitter is diced pork, which is a Peppa Pig starter kit, or a Peppa Pig put it together kit, or whatever. I liked it. And then there was the air in the tyres. And then I think it was Wednesday morning. I was wandering down to the end of the road. Uh, just to get some fresh air into the lungs and as I was coming back there was a guy in a well the top half was a Santa costume running down the road this was at a quarter to five in the morning and still in November Santa's in training hats off to Santa to be perfectly honest mind you in the night um okay so I was going from my bedroom to the toilet I don't turn the light on because, like, I know the way to go. The next thing I know, I'm flying through the air after stubbing my toe on the wall. Um, the one next to the big toe. Very bruised, uh, very black. I don't think I've broken it. In fact, I mm, probably guarantee I haven't broken it. But, oh, it was painful. And still is a little bit now, although it is recovering. Yeah, bodies again etc. I missed this from last week. Things. Internet memes. Podcasting 2.0. If you haven't heard of that, Adam Curry. Podcasting is moving on and I don't mean podcasting and things like Spotify because they don't actually have podcasts because they don't actually have RSS feeds. Curry who was there for podcasting 1.0 is back for 2.0 and he is taking it forward open standards that's the way forward and then well 2006 for me was web 2.0 it's now all web 3 which is a decentralized web and things like the blockchain that's the big thing at the moment and you'll probably be hearing that quite a lot in the future Especially if countries go towards cryptocurrencies and they're from banks, which won't be Web3 anyway. Um, the reason I am in Gloucester, the reason I am in the Regal, MB08, which should have been in August, but, you know. Um, the Pelican Inn here is having a Manchester Beer Festival. They are open from 12 o'clock each day and they have got some corkers and filled rolls. You can either have cheese and onion or onion and cheese. I had one of each and a cloud water cola but 10%. They have some great people there. They have a real fire and the internet is a bit flaky at the moment but usually it's pretty good and I like it a lot. What else have we got? Oh yeah, back home. Disruption on the Caffili Depot for the buses. Like, tons of disruption. Not like the odd one or two buses. Tons of buses. Something's going on there. It's like if they were on an early morning strike. Mm, investigative journalism by the South Wales Argus and Wales Online completely missing again uh, and um, BBC Wales bit too parochial up the valleys for them you know and lastly ordered some rat poison something is eating my potatoes in the lobby uh, it's either a 
And I think it's a rat. So I have ordered rat poison from Amazon. I'll keep you in touch with that one. Because that's a bit scary. Anyway, um, as you can probably see in the background, there are aircraft. Uh, the Regal used to be a cinema, and there's a gorilla with a Santa hat on, which you can't quite see. That was my week. Welcome to winter. And we're not even in December. I have a feeling white Christmas. And maybe a white Christmas lockdown. Who knows? Anyway, I wish you the best. Um, comments can go in either YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or WordPress or MeWe. Let's get this uploaded. Bye-bye.